Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? It is December. We're in the Christmas spirit. Right now I've got some eggs on my stove and I'm trying to start to eat healthily again. I was surviving on carbohydrates and all that kind of stuff, but now he is six months old and it's time that I take care of myself. I need to give you guys a health update and I'll do that now. Nice way to start the vlogmas season, but it's gotta be said, a lot of my kind of like breathlessness and everything like that's got to do with it. But here is Tiny Leopard. How you doing, baby? How you doing, you six month old legend, you? Let's give you a little dummy to plug your little fangs. Yep, that makes you happy. Oh Lord, quick, quick. Good boy. So here we are. We are wearing a little tiger outfit and we are loving life. As for me, I've had a kind of, um, what's it called? Uh, an indecisiveness about whether to do Christmas. It is Leo's first Christmas and I think he, sh he deserves, each child deserves a Christmas. At the same time, he is a little bit young to understand what's going on, but he is fascinated with the baubles. He really loves um, playing with them and looking at them and all that stuff. Don't worry, I don't let him touch them until they break. Don't worry, they're plastic. But um, the tree I had last year was pink, but now that I've had a boy, I kind of wanted a really traditional red Christmas. Not that boys can't have pink, yes they can. But then I had this idea. I thought that maybe I can do a pink and red tree, just because I'm not gonna go out and buy a whole new tree with a whole new toys, saying that I did buy a new tree. I did actually buy a new tree from David Jones. But right now our house is a renovation and it's still a mess with everything going on around here. But you guys can join us anyway because we can't be perfect, but we can be cute, can't we? Do you like vlogging yourself? You like it, because you're a sexy, sexy boy. Let's have a look at our Christmas. Mm. This child whoa, is 10 kilos now, and he's just turned six months, and he is a biggest boyings, and I am constantly breathless. Whew. Do you want? This Sophie. <gasps> Lovely. Guys, it's Christmas season. <sighs> My mum is not coming this Christmas, as you guys know. I've updated you on that. Um, the current state of the world is just too difficult and she's not allowed in, so she won't be coming. It's sad she can't meet little Leo, but you know, it is okay. We will get there. As for my health, I've been diagnosed with hyperthyroidism, the hyper version, which means if I'm talking faster, that's the reason. I've been put on some beta blockers and the symptoms are I'm just really not tired as in lethargic, but fatigued as in like I'm hot all the time. I'm running at 100 miles an hour. It's like if I was a train, they've put too much Like if I was a train, they've put too much coal in the fire. Do you know what I mean? They've put too much wood in the fire and it's just running at 100 miles an hour. Because I'm normally the only one taking care of Leo, I get really exhausted and kind of burnt out. And he is one of those babies that is incredible. He's an incredible kid. I adore him, but he's go, go, go a lot of the time. Like, you know when um, you see babies chilling on the bed or chilling in the thing? That's not happening over here. As for Christmas, oh, the diagnosis with that, with the hyperthyroid, is that I have to just see what happens for the next eight weeks. It could be due to postpartum. And if it doesn't correct within eight weeks, um, then we've got to search for the real reason. It could be an autoimmune disease or something like that, which I hope it's not. Let's knock on wood that it's not. There's no time of year. Because it's just really hard work um, if you have any kind of illness and then looking after a kid. So I'm just hoping it's postpartum. Postpartum and just pregnancy has just been really interesting for me. By interesting, I mean bad because I had hyperemesis gravidarum when I was pregnant. Don't worry, I won't tell you when you're older. I don't want you to feel bad about it. <laughs> um, 
and then you know i've uh, now i've got hypothyroidism and my whole life i've just been super healthy so it's just a very interesting experience i'm not used to it in other news i've got my first delivery from first and maybe last um from a brand and this brand is just everything to me as you guys know i'm obsessed with it uh, i've never had a paid for sponsorship with them or anything i'm just it's just one of those things i don't know i just adore it i adore their packaging i adore how they make you feel it just makes you feel so festive and christmasy so they sent me a little pr package and i'm anticipating something christmasy which is very cool just look at that i think if you're ever looking for presents for anyone this is a no-brainer midnight musk and amber guys look at how beautiful that bottle is just the intricacy the label is like textured it's like a beautiful crystal with the lid if you're a man or a woman and you don't know what to give somebody i think joe malone fragrances are just so interesting because they they are not typical they're not always floral they've got interesting almost foodie vibes and i really really love that what do you reckon do you want to smell it I'll let you smell it. I won't spray it. You can just smell the bottle. Mmm. Midnight. Your eyes just went larger with the excitement of that. So, there is our Jo Malone present. Thank you so much, Jo Malone. Dear Margarita, wishing you a roaring Christmas with love, Jo Malone, London. That is so kind. Look how strong you are holding a bottle. Strong man. I am selling a lot of my baby things. Uh, everything he's not using anymore and he hardly used because as a parent who's never had kids and as somebody who doesn't really have people around me that have had kids I didn't know what on earth to buy so what I did was I bought everything well not everything but you know what I mean and so I'm selling a lot of these things he never ended up using that people told me to get it but he was like nah see you later let me show you my um, Christmas tree a cream bath tree a cream bus tree cream bus chris moose this is the decorations from last year i had a lot of these pink baubles which i loved pink and gold was my theme but i just saw this nutcracker and i saw all these white and red candy themed really christmasy berries berries icicles vibe and I just wanted to do that for Leo because it's his first Christmas, isn't it, buddy? And this is our tree. This is the tree from David Jones. I love it. It's got a little, it's, it looks a little bit gappy, but I need to fluff it. And obviously you hang the big toys within those gaps that you see. That's how it normally works. So I was thinking of just doing this red tree, but then I kind of looked at them together and I thought, why don't I do this big, garish, Gucci moment of a tree and just put it all together? why not it's not like anyone's coming over christmas and just put it all together so leo can have something incredible to look at here's your toys my love kick the christmas stuff Boop. look at these little wonder suits from bonds i love how they have oh, they're just so comfortable he loves them as for leo's progress he's now kind of getting up on all fours and you know rocking around and stuff but it really frustrates him so I'm just not sure where we're going with that because he can't crawl forward. He only goes backwards. Yes. Get on your knees, you strong man. Oh, darling. Oh, darling. Oh, darling. Let's see what time it is. We should be going to the store soon. Get some more Christmas bits. He is not a happy bunny. My love, what is wrong? Oh, what is wrong? There you go. Oh, just take my, took my better block. I'm just feeling so flustered. Oh. 
It's okay, baby. Look at yourself. You're so cute. Anyway, he's six months old. We're surviving maternity and babyhood. And you're gonna be much better when you can walk, right? You're gonna be much more satisfied with yourself. Anyway, he broke a couple of toys. And now we're gonna go to the store and get some more bits just to hang things on the tree. And hopefully he'll be entertained by that because he gets very, very fussy. Very fussy, McGee. <laughs> Why do all babies love cameras? Go on then, film yourself. The baby's down. He sleeps for 30 minutes, so that's all we have. That's all we have. So today I went to the store and I met a friend of mine as well. And I picked up a few bits for the tree. This is them. I decided to just get this pack of red and silver balls from Morgan and Finch. And these little nutcrackers because I've got ringing in my ear. I don't know whether it's my hypothyroid or whether it's, you know, when you've got a kid, this thing happens to you where you're always on edge. Um, not any kid, like a young baby, because I never realized this was a part of being a mum, but you always are watching them. Even when they're down, even when they're sleeping in their bed, the monitor's always on and you're always watching them. You're always aware. It's like hypervigilance. And like I said, sorry to say it so many times, but I just want to paint the picture. I am the one who's caring for him all the time because my husband goes to work from 6 a.m. and he comes home after the baby is in bed. And on the weekends, he's doing the renovation in our house at the moment, which is all good and it's very useful. As you guys say, it's so amazing that he can do that. But that leaves me from Monday to Sunday every week looking after the baby and it just becomes so exhausting and I'm sorry to have a moan and I know this is not why you came to watch my video you probably came to watch what the tree looks like to get some inspiration uplifting Hermes and all this stuff but I've just got to be honest that if I seem a bit frazzled in my videos sometimes it's just because my mind is always like is the baby asleep is the baby asleep and I see on YouTube or in places where I hear from friends these babies who sleep for like an hour and a half Leo does 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and so I'm always like, duh, 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 at the monitor. Anyway, I am now coming around to the idea of a more red tree. I might put away my pink decorations and leave them in a box of pinkness for another year. Um, I might, you know, do two trees next year because I've still got my white tree in my garage, so I might do that. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to try and decorate the tree in the little time I've got when he's sleeping. And then I'm looking down there because the monitor's down there. And then I'm going to see how it looks. So hopefully I can show you some bits and pieces when I'm done. What do you guys think? I think that would be a good idea.
Here is the tree, guys. The final product, the battery is dying, but here it is. What do you think, baby? I think you're bored of doing the tree. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Love you lots like jelly tots. And here is the tree.